Hey guys, welcome back. So we're gonna try a new recipe. This is gonna be a jalapeno popper chuck roast. We've done jalapeno poppers, we've done armadillo eggs. This is something along those lines, but what we're gonna be doing is making the jalapeno poppers and putting them inside of the chuck roast itself and then wrapping the entire thing in bacon. As for the ingredients are pretty simple. You're just gonna need your jalapeno peppers, your chuck roast, bacon, cream cheese, a cheddar cheese blend already shredded, or you could shred your own, some seasoning, and a little bit of butter. Now using our brand new folding kitchen knife we got from Bespoke that we featured on Tuesday's short, we're gonna be cutting off the end of the jalapenos and coring them out so we can stuff them with cheese. Now I am making an entire package of cream cheese that's been softened up and adding about a quarter cup of cheddar cheese blend. But for this recipe, you really are only gonna need about a third of that. And I'm gonna be using this for bagels later. Then we're gonna add a seasoning blend of salt, pepper, and garlic and mix thoroughly. Now we're gonna start stuffing the jalapenos. At first I used a fork and I found out that using my hands is it was a lot easier, especially when trying to get all of the air pockets out from the bottom. Next, we're gonna be starting to cut our holes to fit the jalapenos directly into the chuck roast. You need to make sure, one, it's deep enough and wide enough at the base inside because once this pepper goes in, it is going in with a thicker end in first to make sure that the cheese is contained within the chuck roast and doesn't come spilling out. Now we're gonna lay out our bacon. Whether you wanna use a basket weave pattern or just lay it flat like I've done, that is your choice. Then we're gonna slather the meat in butter and then add our seasoning. The seasoning is a salt, pepper, and garlic blend. Move the roast over to the bacon, season side down, and repeat on the other side. Now that the roast is seasoned, we're finished wrapping it in bacon and secure it with toothpicks. Now preheat the oven to 425 degrees, then add some oil to a frying pan. I'm using a large cast iron frying pan, and we're going to sear each side of the roast for about six to eight minutes a side. Once the roast and the bacon is start to brown, you're gonna place it into your 425 degree preheated oven for about 15 minutes until your internal temperature reaches about 135 degrees. I found that this actually happens really fast, so you really are gonna to have to monitor it. Doing your uh, searing on either side really speeds up the process of cooking it and baking it. You're gonna to wanna to start to check the roast temperature at about 10 minutes in. Now, I like having our jalapenos a little bit on the crispier side. Everything does melt by the time it's all done. And when you're biting into this, it has a nice little crunch. Now, if you want something a little bit softer, you might want to do less searing and more time baking, and that should soften up the inside, but again, still monitor it. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.